Make our money, Boku, make our money plenty. Yeah. <laughs> if at all. <laughs> if at all, we are even living yeah. there. Can we have money? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because right now, of course, you know what it is. It's all trenches everywhere. Everybody I the red, but people when they see money, they see them. Anyways, boy, you know, you can join the conversation by calling in on 0909 848 408. 0909 848 408 to join the conversation. You know, you probably want to speak to Sugar or Lagos. You know, in these small chests so open. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, yes, he has had very, very contributing, you know, yeah. contributory, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. yeah. So big shout out to man like Sugar Lagos and big shout out to Eli Lee, my number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so let's go straight to the topic of the day and the first story we will be talking about. You've probably seen it over the weekend, but it's been going around. And of course, Benito is back. Okay. okay. Benito is here okay. again. <laughs> this boy is like all oh, this boy that you go to university. Benito was here. Think, <laughs> you know what he's saying? I, I was about to name drop. I was almost about to say that Benito is almost like portable in a way. You know, all he's he's wanting he's to, fresh portable. Like all he's wanting to... <laughs> Just, just All right, so let's get this. straight to it. So, Nollywood actress Funke Akindele's stepson, Benito, was continuing to drag her on social media. In an Instagram live video, Benito revealed several shocking details about the actress and his father, JJC Skills, alleged dying marriage. According to Benito, his father cheated on Funke, which led to a big fight. He also revealed that the actress also cheated on his father. Benito said the movie star was known for screaming at the top of her voice in the house. She reportedly accused her husband of stealing money from the family's account. Benito also revealed how the actress treated people who worked in for her in every belittling manner. According to Benito, he has witnessed staff of the actress break down after she scolded them. Benito said his father and the movie star haven't slept in the same room for two years. It's also revealed that he also revealed that his father no longer lives in their matrimonial home. Benito has it said a like lot. Benito, I was just about <laughs> to I just say the only thing eh? so much info. Benito, 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 Benito. I don't want to burn snitch you. <laughs> <laughs> I nice got No, <laughs> me, I don't want to burn snitch, Which Which level now? Nah? He really snitched on his father, man. Like, but I think this on. is just a case of, if, if Funke cheated, if um, JJC's um, skills cheated and Funke cheated back, I mean, cancel, action, cancel, action. I feel they should Do be coexisting peacefully you know because, I mean, you've what done it, I've done it. So what's the point? Benito is the problem. <laughs> He has said so much. Like we we've not the guy was the like, details. The guy was like, too. I don't I don't care for them anymore. I, I really don't care what you know what you're doing, but you know, but I'm just gonna say the truth. And you know, nobody nobody need nobody needs to be treated the way my father come on. I think it's a face. It's a face is going through right now. He would, I think it's he would cloud definitely, chasing. No, not really cloud because he's been like there. Rebellion or something. Yeah, he's trying to be rebellious because he's been there all this while and he's probably... He's suffered. It's payback. Yeah, it's more like, okay, it's time for me to pay back right now. Yeah. Now is the time. All those things you guys have actually done to me, it's time for me to just... I think he will later... He will still come out later and still be like, well... I my say those things, there, my yeah. father was this, his dad was pain. But then again, there's no Nichis. smoke without fire. He said a whole lot of things. A whole lot. Like, you all know, those things are true for, for a fact. You know, and, that, and coming from someone who is so close to the family, you, yeah. you, you begin to wonder, okay, I'm trying to look at it as an outsider, what I think, what I perceive of the marriage, and hearing details like this, you begin to wonder, what do, I, what do I think that I know? What do I think that I think? Who, who has given me the right to think something? Because clearly what I'm thinking is definitely, you know, what is going on there. Yeah. Because this is literally the man's son and saying all of this. I feel, despite the fact that he might be rebellious or something, like you rightly said, yeah. there is no smoke without fire. There is a huge But you know, people, people forget that celebrities or public figures are humans. Like, they, they have their own bad side. Mm. So all these things that Benito is saying, like, I'm not shocked. Are you shocked? It's are you surprised? It's, 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 like, it's a normal it's, it's thing. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because of the, the personalities that are involved. I feel that's why it's causing so much trouble because of no, the people no, involved. I, I, think, I, I, I think why some people are shocked is the fact that some of these quote-unquote celebrities here, yeah, they paint a different picture out there. You know, regular guys like you and I will go out and we're just like, okay, this is me, this is who I am. But you see these guys already paint this picture-perfect picture. You yeah, know, yeah. You know, yeah. happily ever after picture. So when people now hear, oh, okay, for instance, one of the stories that broke was the fact that, you know, um, both of them didn't even come for the AMVCA together. 
Mm -hmm. They came separately, separately, but when the cameras actually flashed, that, that was just they, were together. they were together. But right after yeah. the whole thing, the first time the story broke and everything, we saw both of them. They posted, they posted each other and everything. So I'm like, what is the so, point of all of this? So wait, another thing that you know, kids were quick to judge is now that yeah. I understand. So I I remember growing up, and and I didn't grow up in an abusive home. Mm. But of course, you know, yeah, yeah, wife, yeah, uh, husband and wife yeah, must yeah, get arguments. Yeah. So you see after this argument, and then I see my father wear this adbada that is to match with my mother's and uh, yeah. Iru and Buba. And I'm like, no, no, this <laughs> too. They mean I just shout for each other finish now. Yeah. But they go to this party, you follow them gradually because now you go drive. Yeah. <laughs> you follow them there and you see them smiling for the camera doing everything. But when they get back home, they yeah. probably won't talk again. Do you understand? So this thing happened. But check but this out. That didn't make you go out there to tell your friends that, hey, because my, 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 yeah, yeah, the, I think again, it, it, it boils down to upbringing. You see that whole American nice, that Western upbringing where they'll say, don't spank the kid. Because, you know, if you spank the kid, he's going to probably, you know, have some mental, whatever. I feel this is Africa. An African child that has an African blood <laughs> should be. Anyway. You that boy, that boy, no, no, that no, boy no, took no, alcohol. No, that boy took alcohol to school. I go slap, slap you anyhow. Eh? My papa, my papa, my daddy papa, yes, I can be shy, you go to school. You go beat. And, and, and I will have the nerve to come on social media and telling Nigerians, my fellow Nigerians. My dad beat me up. But my dad never touched me. But my mama na ingo tell. Ingo just reporting to my mother. She go. <laughs> she, she, yeah. Yeah. And again, I think the, the modern day parents, yeah, the way the the way they spank their kids. Remember back in the days, you don't spank us. You you have to do some yes, man. some you know you some face, hands up, raise your hand, you lie down, yes, do your shit. Oh, you will like cut that face. You understand me? But but, but yeah. these days Please. now, you have them saying they want to let's actually, talk, let's talk, let's talk. Then what you are we talking about? Then the next day, let, let's yeah. let's throw a punch. And I'm like, no, no, you don't see you. You can't be because according to his story, when he said his father took him to the beach part and he was trying to it's punch him, like, no, that's not the best way to actually discipline the child. You know, have that old school way. You know what they say? Um, a child is not raised by one person. It's raised by the whole village. I remember mm. that if you do anything, as my mom is beating you, the next door neighbor oh, passes. You see, <laughs> like, what you, ah, say? you, you know, know this boy? They say, you did this. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Give me the cane. They'll flog you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes, because we're running out of time. We have to run to the next story for today. I think we gave you guys too much motivation. But of course, it's supposed to pump your wick. But let's get to the next story. And this one is on David O. You know, who has penned down a food for thought, which is specifically addressed to rich individuals. He wrote, money might get you a faster car, bigger house, or the best VIP seat. But it doesn't give you the right to treat others with, with less, any differently. Class and decency have no price tag attached. Be kind. He now said, they said he's shading um, um skibby. Skibby? Yeah, yeah skibby. So okay, so I want to bring this back <laughs> up. You remember what happened with Zlatan and Bile and the old yeah. case yeah. last week? And I figured that a lot of these people did what they did because they thought I was you're just one one-off, yes. Yeah. You know that they can just get away with. No, they, you know they can, can they can beat him. They can you know treat him anyhow, and nothing will come. But now I feel like they have realized that there are consequences for their actions, right? And which is you don't have to wait till you realize the consequences for your actions before you do the right thing. You need to treat people regardless of their class, their money, sure. their wealth, their cars, their clothes, whatever it is, the way they talk. Me, I'm 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 the guy that I carry everybody along do you understand like i talk to everybody normal level do you understand and you don't have i give if you don't give if i don't if i can't give i joke if i can't joke i make you laugh if i can't make you laugh i say something do you understand like there's always something that i can contribute to everybody and it gives me a lot of peace and it gives me a lot of joy so i think like you know the rich also cry you have your own problems so if you're seeing people with their own problems that are not your, your problems, problems please can you just try to understand yeah, Pathetic. That's it. Because I, I see a lot of situations, just like you rightly said, um, want to those in higher positions. Now I won't even say just the rich or something. You know, this this is just basic. We can be in the trenches, and mm. the better person in the trenches is yeah. trashing the lesser people, and all of us are in the trenches. So I feel it's just like a social mindset or something. We just humans generally, we just like to show that okay, I'm better off than you, and it's. It's not cool because this is basic human decency. It's not about class or anything. Because if you were in the same room with the same caliber of people, 
you treat them with decency. So I see no reason okay, why so, you treat them with Okay, so and then I, what pisses me off is that the moment they realize that, okay, you were not what they taught you where they want you to now be in their room. I can't be in your room. You're not even up. You're not after, enough. After trampling on me. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, but Sugar, what's your take? Yeah, yeah. But sometimes, yeah, um, things happen for a reason. You know, we've talked about it already, like, mm. you know, sending things happen for a reason. So, um, I, I feel the universe has a way of bringing people together. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, um, I remember one of my bosses, right? Um, we're going, before I met him, I actually, well, you know, I was driving towards the gate and he was trying to come us. I was hurrying into the gate. And I scratched his car. Boom. There was a back and forth conversation. It was a boom, 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 pow. We just talked. And we even said nasty, nasty things to him. So two weeks later, boom, I got a call. Like, hey, you need to come for this interview and all of that. And guess who was that? It was the mm -hmm. guy with the afro. Yeah. I was like, yo. And guess what? I wasn't qualified for the interview because I was just, I, was, I haven't even served then. I was just the new guy who wanted to just get into stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you, I remember you. <laughs> and at that point, because of the anger, because it wasn't my car, it was my mom's car. And I was like, I just remember the, the, the scolding my mom gave to me. I was looking at him like, ah, this guy and I was like, I ain't giving, I'm giving so, problem. So, right? <laughs> so he was like, so you still mad at me, right? I was like, yeah. Then I paused. Guess what? The, the interview didn't go as the regular interview. It was it now was a conversation. conversation. Uh, but, uh, but you know, this would have happened. So uh, I would just yeah, end up yeah. just like, what's your name? Just wrote it down. Start next week. I'm like, wow. Okay. So yeah. sometimes things happen for a reason. So it's, I, I feel whatever happened between you and whoever, if they want in their space, you can actually evaluate and be like, okay, is it really worth it? Maybe this could be a stepping stone. But, but it you depends. realize that in this your situation, yeah. I feel the man came to an understanding of the fact that, okay, both of you contributed to And I think destiny it. brought you together. Exactly. Now, you don't yeah. do, now you don't do damage control to put me in your space. He <laughs> didn't do damage control. You get no. it. was just, I feel you guys just flowed. But I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. And you feel sometimes when, like we have been saying, yeah. bad things, they just pour good things and everything. Exactly, but yeah. I feel in some situations, just because you're a human being and because pride is something that is naturally ingrained in people, you cannot just trample on me, trample on my personality and everything. And yeah. suddenly because you feel you have something to offer me, yeah. you expect me to turn around. Not because you have realized that, okay, you rightly wronged me. Like, yeah. you really, really wronged me. But because, okay, I have money, I have power and everything, so I can just quickly And then there's actually nothing wrong with saying I'm sorry when exactly. you're wrong. Exactly. Yeah. I don't see the big deal there. And it depends there. on the way you say I'm sorry. Right? Because your tone matters. Yeah, it, it depends on the way you say you're sorry. So I always say, especially celebrities, yeah, if you've done something wrong, you can come up personally and say, I'm sorry, rather than write, having your publicist to write a whole long statement that was in it, that's not even coming even from you. Personal phone call. Would yeah, do. personal yeah. phone call. Would do yeah, 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 like it's it's if, even if it is still damage control, but I feel it's more intentional. And yeah. I would consider it more than going on social media to put one full page or on, on Instagram mm -hmm. or something. But if or getting me, other people if, to call you. To call you. If you yeah. call me, even if you're not like, you, you don't really mean it or something. But at least it feels more intentional. It feels more specific. It, feels, it makes me understand that, okay, you actually see that he went wrong. Anyways, yes, we need to move on because we're fast running out of time. And of course, this one is another one. But please, you guys, you let me just lick this this i want to hear your tea your tea all right so popular influencer <laughs> papaya x was searching for a security man after he allegedly stole our properties danny walter a close friend and associate of the influencer revealed that the security guard took papaya's three phones clothes as well as the jewelries he cautioned people to be careful with the kind of security guards and cooks they employ um however the security guard has been found and guys I live in the same estate with Papaya X. I, I live in the same estate with a lot of people, I'm sure mm. you see. <laughs> right? I think we should come and join the estate. <laughs> so, yeah, so I live in the same estate with Papaya X. And this boy in question, I know him. It's a young guy. I, I see, I love kids. He's like, he's a yeah. child. Yeah. See, child, I love yeah. kids. Pictures, see, wait now, wait child. now, guy. I love kids. So, I'm that guy that goes to a store. And I saw these kids in front of the place, and I'm like, "Shall I'm coffee soon? I'm buying their coffee yeah, soon." Yeah, yeah. And this is, still, and they're like, "So when you're passing, ah, bros, bros, my yeah, friend, yeah. bye bye, you know this kind of thing." This boy used to be one of those kids. This boy is a missing. This boy has worked in every uncompleted building in my estate. This boy isn't a security guard. 
Papaya X, tag me if you think I'm lying. If, you, if I'm lying, please okay. tag me. I know. Oh, but, but she did say Okay, so if this boy it. is a security guard, why do you have... This boy is not up to 14. Yeah, if he just started, yeah. eh? This boy is not up to 14, 13. What security can... What is he securing, yeah. actually? This boy doesn't wear those clothes he was wearing in the video. This boy is constantly on short, dirty, working. I, I can remember telling my girlfriend one time that this boy is probably a family business. He don't do this house, they work again. This boy is very hard working, a young boy. The same exact boy in the video is mm. always in every house that they are building in the estate. Mm -hmm. So if Papaya is saying she employed this boy as a security, I feel like that's child labor. Yeah. Why do you have a 14-year-old boy being a security guy, putting his life at risk? Because what exactly is this security? Are you going to give him a knife to attack a grown man? Do you understand? Yeah. Like one punch will knock him out. Mm. That boy can't even... Okay, if I want to jump into Papaya's house now, and it's that boy that I see is one kick can now. What can he possibly do to me? I think Papaya needs to come out clean. Is was he like um, a security guard or a gatesman? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, he's not even gatesman. Or was it, it just a boy that used to come and help? That used to help you do, help you do stuff. Yeah. Like you don't need, like you don't need to call him a security because you're beginning to sound absurd. Like Papaya X is beginning to sound like I don't know what you're saying. Like I really don't get what she's saying. Do you get it? Mm. Do you get what she's saying? <laughs> I'm I trying. To, I'm trying to wrap my head. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm to trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah. The fact that okay, fine. This this child was caught with the alleged. I feel like it was staged. Okay, so alleged. that's what I was. I've been avoiding. I feel like this is cloud chasing. I feel like this was all staged. Mm -hmm. They paid this boy some amount of money, and I will see this boy and I'll carry him and I'll. Okay, Ooh, no, I shouldn't. Sure. No, I shouldn't be saying all this thing. Anyway, but you guys go on. But it would be nice since you know the guy, you could give him a personal interview though, and um, so maybe let, probably let get the actual it. story. Mm. Because if, if, if she's cloud chasing with the guy and probably putting the guy's picture and video on social media, the internet never forgets. Mm. Because you cannot say, so, you cannot accuse somebody of theft, right? And um, when the person did actually commit it and you're not saying it's cloud chasing, you're just saying, okay, this person did that. Just so, so people will get to know. Because to me, I felt one of those things influencers do. Wanted, wanted, wanted us to know where she stays, the kind of house okay. she has, how she opens. thing she has. You know, hair, those kind of things. I'm like, okay, now I know your house. It's only you that can open your door. It's only you that is fingerprint and all of that. Like, okay, I didn't it's good. look it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, so for you, you go. No, if, you, if you know me, my friends know that I love Papa as an influencer. I feel she's, she's doing a pretty good job as an influencer, playing traffic and everything. That's fine and that's good. But like you said, this situation, this story, there, there are a lot of loops. There are a lot of things we need to, to wrap wonder. Up though. Yeah, there are a lot of things to wonder about, like child level. I feel that's, that, that's something we should be yeah. focusing on more yeah. than even the particular thing we're talking about now. Alrighty. Anyways, guys, I hope Papaya comes out, you know, with the truth and, you know, just get your mind out of the trenches, girl. Anyways, you know what it is. And of course, it is time to wrap up the show. This is your favorite entertainment show, Tea Time. But of course, this is where we say bye bye. And of course, thanks for joining the conversation on social media. Um, you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch time on Alta TV and of course in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308. A big, big, big thank you goes out to Michael Wan because you know the people who help me down all day. Be shout out to man like Ellie Lay, man like Sugar <laughs> and of course the entire production team talking about you know um, Shay, everybody from care, you know every one of you doing your thing. Big shout out to all of you and of course um, this is Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ifeolua Oshike. Let go.